Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com. And I also invite you to follow us on Facebook or Instagram where you'll find out a little bit about more of who we are and what we do. I thought I'd throw on a sundress today. It's beautiful and sunny in California. I can feel your positivity and I hope so much that I am becoming a positive light to you. I haven't done questions and answers in a while and I've had a few people comment and ask me some things so I thought that today would be a perfect day to answer some of those questions. Um, the first one is about organic or natural ingredients. Is it really important or a value to your skin to use organic and natural products? And I unequivocally say yes. I am not a fan of the man-made products or ingredients that are out there, and many of them are given to you prior to having very invasive procedures done. And I think you all know by now, I'm not a fan of lasers, chemical peels, or anything invasive for your skin. I really want to teach you a holistic or natural way to get to where you want your skin to be. So organic or natural products are very important. Now there are some key elements to that. You want to be careful of essential oils. You wouldn't want to put an essential oil directly onto your skin. Even a masseuse uses a carrier oil before they massage you with it. You do want to make sure that the ingredients in the products have some value to your skin. So find guidance from your esthetician or someone that you really trust. Um, but make sure that when you're reading those ingredients on the label that they are natural and they are organic as much as possible. We work very closely with a chemist to make sure that our products are natural, that they are organic, and we're constantly tweaking them to make sure that they are that for our clients. A lot of people don't realize this, however. To have a certified organic ingredient, um, you had to pay for that privilege for many years, and it really is still true today. Also, uh, holistically, only one out of 10 ingredient in that bottle has to be organic. So just because something says organic doesn't necessarily mean that it is. And also, it may not have real value to your skin. I'm going to be talking about astringents and toners, but one example I give to my clients is, years ago there was a tree bark toner that was for sale. Tree bark has no value to your skin. It has, it's not going to do anything to stop you from aging. It's not going to prevent UVA or UVB uh, damage rays. It's not going to stop any bacteria or fungus. So just because something is natural and it sounds really great doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for your skin. That being said, uh, one of the other reasons that you want to make sure that something is natural or organic is because many studies are showing that you've got about 26 seconds to when you put that product on your skin that it will absorb into your bloodstream. 26 seconds. So the skin, the largest organ of the body, filters things out of your system that aren't good for it but it also takes in everything that you're putting on it. And my hope is that if there's anything bad in something you're putting on it, that later that will come out through your skin. But really, let's start off with putting an organic or a natural product on our, our skin to start. So yes, there is value to an organic and natural product. The second question is about astringents or toners. They are not one and the same in my opinion. An astringent when I was a young girl was a clean and clear uh, astringent or a Noxema astringent or a witch hazel, something you used a cotton ball with, you came away and you looked at your cotton ball and it was dirty, your skin should be clean by that step. Now, your cleansers, your face foods are bringing your skin to a perfect pH, but what your toner should do is set that pH so that you're not too acidic or too alkaline, so that your skin can then continue to take in more nutrients from anything coming on uh, later, like your serums, uh, your eye creams, your moisturizer that should have antioxidants and face food value. So your toner is very essential to the steps of your regime. You all know that I love apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is not a toner, but it's more of a um, it kills bacteria and fungus, and I think of it as little soldiers on your face that are just helping to keep your skin clean throughout the day. So yes, a toner is very important. Use it daily, morning and night. Do I wish I could change the name from toner to pH balance or 
uh, face food. I, I do. But it comes at that step where a toner traditionally came along. So we'll call it a toner on our line, a pH toner. And when you're looking at toners that you love or that you're using, uh, just make sure that they have a value or a pH balance to them. I hope that that makes sense. Uh, pores. A couple clients have asked me, how do I get my pores to close? Well, pores don't open and close. Pores shrink. Pores get stretched and scarred by sebum, dirt, oil, and dead dry skin. So what happens is your pore just collects all of the sebum and it becomes a blackhead, if you will. And then a blackhead be can become acne or a whitehead. Uh, when you clean the blackhead or the sebum out of your pore, your pore then becomes poreless or it tightens and firms. And what's crazy is through the years when we've done facials, People will come out and say, oh my gosh, my nose looks smaller, my cheeks look higher. And essentially what that is is that your skin was so infected, so irritated, so inflamed by your pores being uh, dirty or being clogged that once we took everything out, your skin became poreless, your skin adhered to your muscle better, so it made your texture and your uh, your skin look more refined. It made you look uh, more like yourself, tighter. So yes, pores do become more refined, but they don't open and close. So three things: organic skincare or natural skincare is absolutely important. Uh, a toner is essential for your skin and blackheads or pores stretch blackhead, uh, blackheads stretch pores. So that's why they seem like they open or they close, but they actually become stretched. I hope this helps you. I hope I've encouraged you to take better care of your skin through these videos. I hope you know you can ask me any questions and I want to leave you with this wonderful quote. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear a path. I wanted to make sure I said that right so you saw me look down at it, but not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to actually clear a path. I may have said that before, but it definitely needed to be said again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay in and stay healthy.